just be fantastic. I could put out a loaf of bread that's Vermont grain bread. Today and across the fence, baking with Vermont grown grains. We're going to learn about research being done by the University of Vermont Extension to bring the fruited plains to the Green Mountains. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. Vermont ranks first in the nation in direct farm sales. Vermonters spend per capita nearly $100 per household on locally grown foods each year. One item that consumers are clamoring for is bread made from locally grown grains. While some farmers and bakers have answered the call, the results have been mixed. Across the fence is Keith Silva visited a new bakery in Burlington to find out if Vermont grains can meet consumer demand. The opening of August 1st, a new bakery located a couple blocks up from the Burlington waterfront is still a few days away. And owner Phil Merrick can't wait to be open for business. Because we are downtown and uh, we've got this beautiful space, uh, we're going to be serving lunch. It's just fun to have the people coming and going all day and, and become part of the community in, in that way. For Merrick, being part of the community also means offering food made from local ingredients. But when it comes to locally grown grain, he's found that the supply is not meeting the demand. Here in Vermont, the, um, the quality of the grain uh, is, is somewhat lacking yet for bread production. Um, I think there are a lot of grains that are being grown in Vermont. Um, there's Vermont rye, there's Vermont corn, there's Vermont pastry flour, um, which is a soft wheat. and um, all of these products could be used uh, to make our breads, but there would be an ingredient in the bread, a percentage of the bread. Merrick has been experimenting with a multi-grain mix from a Quebec flour mill. He hopes that a mill closer to Vermont would someday be able to offer a similar product. What we really want to do is look at this product and how do we get this product from Vermont farms to Vermont bakeries. It's probably going to be one of my most popular breads. It's my seven grain bread. And it's soft wheat, hard wheat, um, rye, corn. This particular uh, mix has oats and millet in it. All of these can be grown in Vermont. It'd just be fantastic. I could put out a loaf of bread that's Vermont grain bread. For now, Vermont grown okay. wheat isn't in the mix for Merrick. We like wheat bread, and we like, you know, good, good quality gluten to make that wheat bread. And uh, that's not being produced in Vermont, as far as I know right now. Merrick and other bakers may not have to wait too long. The future of growing grains in the Green Mountains is taking shape today on a number of farms across Vermont. There hasn't been wheat variety testing or any grain variety testing in the state of Vermont for... 20 years about and uh, and therefore there's a lot of new varieties out there there's some older varieties and so we're trying to find the best the best varieties that are going to work in our climate and survive the winters here in the case of fall wheats have disease resistance and yield well and and have good quality as well what will ultimately separate the wheat from the chaff so to speak is how farmers will get their grain to market. Our uh, history of grain production in Vermont ended, you know, when people were using size and wheat cradles to harvest wheat. So there, there hasn't been, there isn't hardly any infrastructure on farms to grow grain. That's changing, you know, as there's more of a de demand and more farmers start to get into growing grains, you know, they're purchasing combines and grain bins. But for the most part, that's new equipment on our farms. When it comes to milling the grains, there's hardly any infrastructure in Vermont. On a commercial scale, there's no infrastructure. If grain production is going to grow in Vermont, there may be no better time than now. This is serious. People really want this stuff, and there's quite a bit of momentum. Now those groups are working together. You know, the bakers and the local vores and the farmers are getting together and listening to each other and trying to figure out, okay, how can we create this better quality product, you know, for the end user? And the end user is saying, okay, um, how can we deal maybe with some of the inconsistencies? How could we change our recipes? Or how could we work with, with what we're getting? Um, so that, you know, the farmers are working with the bakers and the bakers are working with the farmers. And, you know, in the end, I think we'll have a successful story to tell about how bakers are able to use Vermont grown wheat. And who knows, come the next 
August 1st, maybe locally grown wheat will be on the rise in bakeries across Vermont. In Burlington, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence. <laughs>